I got to ask this question. How can I publish or broadcast in different ways that I have a new job on LinkedIn? I'm going to show you a couple ideas that I have. But before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button because I create all of these videos for you. All right, so let's go add a new job. So I'm using uh, this my, uh, Mr. NC Wiseman's account with his permission on his computer. And if I scroll down here, you can see here's his current experience. So I'm going to add a new job. So I'm going to hit the plus. I'm going to add a new position. I'm going to add the dust buddy job. And it's full time. And the job uh, he works for the Dust Bunny Removal Company in London, England. And I'm currently working in this role. And he started in 2022. Uh, and the current position, eh, let's go ahead and do that. I'll uncheck that. And then I'll put a description here. Hang on while I put a description. I'm here to help you test using LinkedIn as a profile, no new skills, no new media. And before you save this, go back up top and turn on Notify Network because this could send out a notification to various uh, members of your first level network notifying them that you have a new job. And then hit the save button. Now LinkedIn wants me to, uh, to, to broadcast this. Next, share your new position with your network. So I'm going to hit next. I'm happy to share. I'm starting a new position. That's what everybody, everybody says. It's a default. Let me update it. All right, you can write a really long uh, post with this image, and now I can put some hashtags if I want to. And I can post it. So the first way to broadcast that you have a new job is to do this uh, broadcast post. And there it is right there. Pretty graphical image with whatever story you, you want to tell. And please do not use the default text. That's option number one. Now, a second way that you could broadcast or promote that you have a new job is to do another post uh, simply about your new role and how excited you are about being in that role and serving your customers in meaningful ways. It might go something like this. Give me a moment while I write it. It could be any kind of post you want to write. But I wrote this text post about how excited I am about being in the company and how our company uses state-of-the-art equipment and how our job is always to help our customer. Nothing about the, uh, my relationship with the company, but more importantly, about my relationship in this job, in the, in, with this company, with our clients. Make it all about the people you serve. Not all about you and not all about that company. A little bit about you, your excitement about being there. Make it all about your the, the customer that you serve. That is the best post to put. And I can do hashtags. And then post it. 
just another way to promote or publish that you have a job. You might do this two or three or four days after you did the first post. But again, you're speaking to your target audience, telling them what you do for them. Now let's go look at how the company could announce that you are now working for them. I'm gonna have to go to a company that exists to do this. Give me a second to set that up. Now let's assume that uh, Mr. N.C. Wiseman is working for Burris Consulting Incorporated. Because I don't have a dust bunny uh, removal company. So let's assume he works for Burris Consulting. This is the post that I think Burris Consulting should do to promote that he is working for this company. Hang on one second while I set this up. First of all, I think they should use a picture of that person. I just grabbed a picture, but it should be a, a good, relevant image of that person. Maybe that person in uniform, maybe that person uh, in the environment that they work in, but it should be an image of that person. It does not need to be a logoed image. But there's the image, and also you should alt text. So put some alt text on here. You could tag him. There he is right there and hit done, and then tell the story on the company post of what this new employee does and how he serves the client. Maybe a little bit about him personally, a little bit about his growth and his skills and his experiences, but mostly about his or her role and how they serve the company. It can be anything you want to say. Again, a little bit about the person, a little bit about, again, their skills, their expertise, their accomplishments, but always relevant to your target audience in context of what this new employee is going to be able to do for the company, serving the customer, creating value for the customer, solving problems for the customer. It is not about, all. it is not all about the relationship between the company and the employee. It is all about how this new employee in this role with this company is going to serve the customers. Great little post. I got tagged him in one of see, I can tag him here. Let me do that. There he is there. And then hit post. So again, this is the company broadcasting or promoting and celebrating hiring this new employee to create value for their comp their customers. And either way you do this, whether it's from the company page or whether it's go, let's go back to the, uh, the, uh, the Mr. NC Wiseman. So there's a Burris Consulting celebrating. So Mr. NC Wiseman should come in here and go, Mr. D uh, NC Wiseman should comment, give that post a little bit more eyeballs. You can see up here the notifications you can see that they shared a post that uh, what, that Mr. N.C. Wiseman joined the company. And if I go back to the top and go look at the activity, you can see that's where uh, he commented on the post the company made. You can see this is where he wrote that big post where he's all uh, standalone posts about being excited about being in the company. And you see this is the very initial post that went out when he added the new job to his LinkedIn profile. And on each one of these, what I recommend do is send this out. You can message this to a few people. Message it to people and say, hey, would you do me a favor? And, you know, uh, what do you think? Please comment in the positive for me. And ask other people to comment on it. Could take this post right here, the standalone post. Send that to some people. Send that to others and ask them if they will comment. You can send it to uh, you know lots of different people that he's connected to and say, "What do you think?" 
to say, what do you think? And ask them to comment on it in some meaningful way. Send that to out. And again, the goal is to get more people that you know to comment on any or all of these because the more you engagement and conversations that you have here, the more each one of these posts can be seen by your network and even beyond. Adding a new job to your LinkedIn profile. And by the way, when I go to add it, I could have had that on and I could have alerted my network. Some of my people in my network could have seen that. But beyond just that step, additionally, uh, by doing the other activities that I shared with you, choosing to let the system create this automatic post with some meaningful story about how you're going to serve your clients, creating a, a two or three or four days later, maybe even a week later, another post where again, you say how excited you are about joining the company and serving your, your customers in meaningful ways is another great way to broadcast that you have a new job. And the last way on the top of my head is another post that the company would share where the company celebrates that this new employee has joined the company to serve the customers in meaningful ways. One of my biggest pet peeves is how organizations and individuals do these celebratory posts, these uh, announcement posts, and they make it all about the individual and or themselves, the company and they fail to make it about the company they serve, about the individual they serve, about the customer, about the client. And what we should always be doing on LinkedIn and other social media and other even newsletter posts, make it all about this individual, whether it's the new hire or whether it's an anniversary post or whether it's credential growth or whatever it is, Make that celebratory post all about how that uh, change, that growth, that addition is going to serve the customer. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn and Sales Navigator strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this is helpful for you.